Hi everyone, welcome to the Samsung Note 10 Plus screen replacement. Now as you can see, this one actually only has the glass cracked. That's right, the display is not damaged at all. And I'm actually only charging the customer a glass only repair for this. So as you can see, I'm turning the phone on and I'll show you guys how this one qualifies for glass only repair. So you see that white background right there? Do you see any display, dead pixel, or any damage like that? This phone qualify, qualifies for glass only repair. Now in this video, I'm not gonna show you the actual glass repair. I'm gonna show you the full screen replacement. The refurbishing or the glass repair job is gonna be done at another time. I'm actually sending this off to a refurbishing company and that refurbishing company charges $32 to do this glass only repair job. I'm outsourcing the glass repair job on this phone. So as you can see, here's the new screen. I'm actually giving the customer a brand new, what they call a service pack screen. And then I'll put their cracked screen to the side. So first things first, as you can see, we are taking the back glass cover off and I use poker playing cards and heat. I blow heat around the edges. I get in there with the tool and I slide the card around. Now, after we get the back glass off, which in my opinion, the back glass is the hardest part of this job that I'm showing you in this video. So there's the new screen on the right. So what we're going to take is everything out of the phone on the left side and everything's going to go into a new shell. I'm going to take out the SIM tray. Got to take out the SIM tray because then the motherboard can't come out. Then we're just going to take out a whole bunch of screws. There's probably like 15 of them. If you see a screw, take it out. They're all the same size. Doesn't matter if you mix them up. So after we get all the screws out, then these plastic pieces will come out and then you're going to want to unplug the battery first and then you can unplug the wireless charging flex cable right there. And then the rest of that will come out like that. Then what we're going to want to do is just start unplugging. You don't really have to go in an order just so right here, I'm unplugging these cables that connect the top motherboard to the I don't know what you call that, the charging port, motherboard part. And then just disconnecting a bunch of other things. So that right there is the uh, volume cable. And there's the, uh, some other flex cable. I believe that's the power button right there. And then the front selfie camera. So as you can see, everything is gonna get taken out of the left side and put into the new shell on the right side. So what we're gonna do first is just transfer over the motherboard comes out just like that after everything is disconnected. And then we'll remove a little bit of these little plastic pieces that are in the way. And then we should be able to slide the motherboard right in. And as you can see, the new screen actually came with a new ear speaker. As you can see the one on the left, you see the ear speaker is still in the screen right there. It's still installed into the metal frame. And then on the right, there's a new ear speaker. And then I'm showing right here, the gasket, this new screen came with a front selfie camera gasket. 
If they didn't come with one, you would have to transfer over that piece. So I'm basically just connecting everything back in now on the top part. And then there's three screws at the charging port that's held in. And then after you take out those three screws, the charging port board will come out just like that. And then also you can see that there's already a vibration motor, that little black square thing on the bottom right. There was already one already comes again with a new screen on the service pack screen. So this job, I'm actually charging the customer 200 bucks for this. For those of you guys that want to know, I'm actually, uh, once these screens come back from the, from the refurbishing company, I want to drop the price. I want to glass only repair for the Note 10 plus. I want to bring it down to 150. So as you see, I took out the battery. I use alcohol to get it out. If you use alcohol, it gets underneath the battery, eats up the adhesive, the battery then comes out a lot easier. And now since the I'm laying down tape right here, so the battery doesn't jiggle around inside the phone. I'm almost done with this part. This whole repair actually took me about 30 minutes. Now I can put the battery back in. See the battery is nice and flat. Now we can plug the battery back in. Lay it down right on the adhesive and then just start plugging in cables again. That's the screen, that's a display cable right there. Make sure it's in. I always double check everything's in because I don't want comebacks. When I mean comebacks, it's basically I don't want the customer to come back by, you know, uh, something being partially unplugged because then you got to look and open up the phone and take the time to do it over again not the whole repair but you got to find out what's unplugged so as you see that's pretty much it on there everything's pretty much in place on the on the on the new screen and then now we have to plug in the uh wireless charging flex cable and then we can just start putting back all the screws wherever you see a screw hole just put a screw in there remember all the screws are all the same size doesn't matter where they go just start putting all the screws back in turning back the phone on I'm gonna test it out and you see that's the screen I'm gonna put it aside it's gonna get sent off to a refurbishing company you can refurbish these yourself if you have the skills and the machines to do it if you're new see put this screen in the box and just put it aside it's gonna get shipped off uh, with other screens I don't you don't just send off one by one you send them in batches. So here we go. Testing out the new screen. We're almost done. We still have to install the back glass on this. So now on all my other screens, like my...
my um, my S series and my Note series. I have pre-cut adhesive already um, that I buy, but with this, I don't have any pre-cut adhesive with this screen right here. So I'm just using this red tape and it works fine. Um, this tape is pretty strong, but there you go. That's pretty much it. Samsung Note 10 Plus display screen replacement. Now, before I go, just a reminder, I do have a cell phone repair course that teaches everything on how to start a cell phone repair business to make money. There is more to a business than just knowing how to repair phones for other people. How are you going to get customers? How are you going to market on the internet to get customers? How do you make advertisements? How about the software you can use to create your videos to make demonstrations on how you can repair customers' phones? How about all these contacts? Refurbishing screen contacts, iPhone buyback contacts. There's plenty more if you guys are interested, just look at the link in the description. You guys want to see the cell phone repair course. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.